a seat at the Palomino Club in North Hollywood in a bar. And I guess the reason why they called me is because I was known for the bars. <laughs> so we get in the airplane and we fly down to Burbank and they pick us up and it takes over to the Palomino Club where they're shooting this film. On the stage performing was a little lady named Charlie McLean. Yeah! And so when she came off the stage, I walked over to her and I knew she recorded for Epic Records, the same label I'm recording for. So I asked her, I said, Charlie, how do you feel about doing duets? She said, I never thought about it, but she would entertain the offer. So I left it like that. And about six months later, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> at the Hall of Shame. I mean, fame. He means the bar. Okay, I was at the bar having a little nippy poo. Uh, yeah. And again, and again, it tasted good, good. <laughs> I get a call for a record producer at the Hall of Fame Motor Inn. He said, I didn't want to find me. He said, I understand you want to stay with Charlie McLean. I said, well, I talked to her about six months ago in North Hollywood. Never heard from her. He said, well, I'm not here working with her on now, but won't you come down? I turned to the guy flying my airplane with me, and I said, listen, he's the one that taught me how to fly. <laughs> I learned how to crash on my own. So anyway, we drive down to the recording studio, we walk in, and they're working on this song called Paradise Tonight. <laughs> so the producer looked at me and said, how do you feel about making this a duet? I said, I got no problem with it. I got the idea from watching Conway Loretta. <laughs> I walked out of the studio, and about an hour and a half later, we have recorded Paradise Tonight. As I'm leaving the studio, I turned to the guy flying the airplane with me, I said, you know what, Cliff? That has got to be the biggest piece of junk I think I've ever recorded. <laughs> and I might not have said junk. I might have said a few other choice words, but I didn't. I cleaned it up. <laughs> he said, I thought it was a pretty good song together. I said, I know, forget it. About 21 weeks later, it's number one in the country charts. <laughs>